Chief Warrant Officer Harold R. Smith, Jr., United States Navy, retired. I enlisted in the Navy in, in July of 1964, directly out of high school. Went to boot camp up in Great Lakes, Illinois. Upon completion of the boot camp, I was sent to Quartermaster A School up in Newport, Rhode Island. Spent about two and a half months up in Newport. When I completed my uh, school, I was sent to the USS Forrestal. Um, I came aboard USS Forrestal December 31st, 1964. I stayed aboard the Forrestal until September 1966. At that time, I was on a volunteer list for Vietnam, and I was accepted. And I was assigned to Inshore Under City Warfare Group 2, which was at a Little Creek, Virginia. From there, we went to survival school, and upon completion of survival school, I was sent to uh, Long Tao, Vietnam. While I was there, I was there for a year, and I let, arrived in Long Tao in 1967, and I left Long Tao in 1968. I flew out of Saigon a week before Tet, 1968. When I arrived home, I was on leave, and at that particular time, the USS Pueblo was captured off of North Korea, and my assignment after I came back to the United States was a, the USS Snowden DE-246 out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I stayed aboard her until July of 1968, which time I, I got out of the Navy, and uh, I basically worked as in the civilian workforce until September of 1968, at which time I decided to go back into the Navy. And when I went back in, I requested orders to Vietnam, and I was assigned to duty with uh, swift boats. And from there, I was sent to uh, Coronado, California for a school. We arrived there, and basically in March of 1969, we completed school, and we were sent as a, as a group to, uh, to Vietnam. We reported in Cameron Bay. And from there, we were assigned duties up at uh, Da Nang, Vietnam. I arrived in March of, at Da Nang in March of 1969. And in the course of there, we were sent as a, the boat crew was sent to Antoy, Vietnam. We arrived in Antoy in uh, June of 1969. And uh, from there, basically uh, from June 69 to March of 70, I was assigned to uh, Swift Boats. And then upon completion of swift boat training, I departed the Republic of Vietnam, and I reported aboard a minesweeper, the USS Exultant, out of uh, Charleston, South Carolina. I served aboard her for almost a year. I requested a third tour to Vietnam as an advisor. Uh, upon my personal request, after about seven months in the advisor program, I requested to be dropped from the course. And at that particular time, I was assigned to the Naval Reserve Center in Brooklyn, New York. I stayed there for about two and a half years. And upon completion of uh, the, being at the Naval Reserve Center, I was transferred to the uh, USS Holland, uh, AS-32, and she was in Charleston, South Carolina. From there, we, the ship was reassigned home port in um, Bremerton, Washington for refit. Upon completion, or while I was on board the USS Holland, I was accepted into the Chief Warrant Officer program. And uh, once I was once I was made Chief Warrant Officer, it was Navy protocol that you would be transferred to another command. From there, I was assigned duties to the to the USS Guam, LPH nine. That was my first command as a, a Chief Warrant Officer. I stayed aboard her for three years. Upon completion of my duty there. I was uh, assigned to the USS Los Alamos, AFDB-7 out of Holy Lock, Scotland. Upon completion of that, I was transferred to Beachmaster Unit 2, uh, where in the course of duties there, I was a participant in the Multinational Peacekeeping Force in Beirut, Lebanon. From there, I was assigned to uh, the Naval Air Station in Alameda, California, which is where I retired in uh, March of 1985.